Welcome back to Striker Avenue, and yeah, I'm assuming you've watched one other thing I've done. That ah, big, big friggin' deal. This is Achievement Guidebook. This is where we take a look at a game and give you an idea of what you need to do for the achievements. Not necessarily a direct walkthrough of the game, but we basically give you uh, the roadmap that you need in order to be like, okay, yeah, I can do those achievements. And this game is super freaking easy. Um, this is actually a free game at the moment. And I believe it's going to stay free. It's a user-created, user-generated type of thing where the community makes their own maps. But they do have a couple of games that they themselves have made. And unlike a lot of the other cheap games I've done, even especially for Achievement Guidebook, this actually has a title screen. Yeah, I know. The other two games really haven't. So here we go. Okay, so we're looking at a couple hours to do all these achievements. Now, some of them are about signing in 20 consecutive days, but this one here, you just want to slide over to your avatar. You'll notice that there's a catalog that costs money, but you need to slide all the way over to the right, and you'll see some free characters. Pick those, and then you will be good. Uh, see, they have free characters. Select it, and that'll give you your first achievement. Uh, the other one is for playing a total of 15 games. Now, yeah, you can actually create your own games over there. And yeah, it has transactions too, which is kind of weird. But, I mean, whatever. Uh, I think the only thing you can buy so far is different characters. But this is how we're going to do it. Uh, go back to home, go over to the featured, and then go down to the dot dot dot. Uh, we're going to click on that, and we're basically going to play these next 15 games in order uh, and when you play it then you can go up and you can rate it you need to rate five of these games now you need to actually play the game before you can rate it uh, yeah there's game badges too but you don't you're not gonna care about that but yeah that's essentially what we're gonna do we need to play 15 of these games total you'll get one for playing five of them uh, so you just basically need to hit play let the game load in let the assets load in and you need to just go down this row and choose 15 of them. Uh, play each game for about 10 seconds or so just to make sure it registers. Most of the time you're going to be entering a, a lobby of sorts where you won't really know what you need to do. That's fine. Just wait around 10 seconds or so. Make sure you get credit for it. Back out. Rate the game. You can rate it whatever you want. I don't care. And by the time you get to around this point in the list, you're going to have your 15 done. So there's actually like 20, 25 total uh, games on this featured list um, Sure, you can play other people's creations and whatnot, but this this will get you uh, those first few achievements uh, Fairly quick and easily uh, Yeah, there's one for changing your avatar's appearance. You want to see what the games look like hide-and-seek extreme You're you're not gonna care. There's another achievement for playing a game for an hour uh, let's let's just take give you a sneak peek of what this the this stuff looks like. Yeah, they they do take a little bit of time to load in, so don't don't be afraid. The uh, the sky background that's your sky box, so that always loads in first. And presented by Tim seven 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 five. Good job, Tim. Uh, there you go. That's what you get when it comes to user generated content, or at least for this game. When your character dies, I believe they fall into pieces. It's <laughs> yeah, that's this is what you get. <laughs> it's, it's so dumb. This is mini golf. Like I said, just load them, play them for ten seconds, and get the fudge out. Play your next game. There's uh, that'll get you a number of achievements right there. Playing five different games, playing fifteen different games, rating five games. There's another game that you need to play for one hour, so I recommend you play a game called Speedrun 4, as it has a timer in the top right corner of the screen. Uh, there is, you basically just start right from the beginning. I don't, I don't believe there's a, a menu or a loading screen for it after you get into the game. You don't need to pick a mode, it just starts. So you need to play for a total of 3,600 seconds. Um, so that's what you need to do for that. Uh, just make sure you have a controller that's plugged in uh, Have your avatar stand and move them around every 10 minutes or so because after idling for 20 minutes You get kicked from the game. So do something else. This is bird simulator It's a simulator about being a bird um, It's it's sort of interesting 
uh, but it's total crap. I mean, this you know the the tools aren't aren't that well done. Uh, this this is the game. This well, it's one of the game. <laughs> God, I basically end up trying to uh, fly into that eagle that you're going to be able to see on the left side of the screen. Um, I think I dive bomb them or something. I think I go into the water. It doesn't really do much. Yeah, it's, that was my goal for this. My few seconds of life. Uh, change your avatar's appearance. And then there's two multiplayer ones. One, you just need to join an Xbox party and play Roblox. That's uh, called Strength in Numbers. You need to invite someone into your Xbox party or join someone's party. Uh, it can be a friend or even a recent player. Uh, once you're in the party, it's just that one other person in the party besides you has to both be playing Roblox, essentially. So, you know, join a party and play Roblox, both of you. So you can be in a party with multiple people, at least as one person other than yourself has to be playing Roblox. So that's it. That'll be one achievement right there. So that's kind of interesting how they did that one. That's that's freaking Bird Simulator. You rate it, and there you go. You only need to rate five of them. Um, coalesce a platforming event. You don't want to try that one. Uh, we're, dude, are we going to actually see this one? Well, either way. Uh, the other multiplayer one is get into a Roblox game with three of your Xbox friends. So they need to be on your friends list. Uh, you all need to be playing the same game. Like I said, this game is free. That's a, a fast 45 points. And all you need for the last... And you're, you might be thinking, well, what's the other 500 points in the game? Well, that's... You just have to sign in for 20 consecutive days. You don't got to play a game. You just have to load into that main menu that you saw with all the windows and stuff. You got to do that for three days consecutively. So when that achievement pops, you'll figure out, okay, I only got to go into that main screen. That's not so bad. You know, load in uh, to where you see all the menus. Then you got to play for 10 consecutive days and 20 consecutive days. And that's literally 500 points by itself. The three days, you get 100 points. After 10 days, you get 200. And after 20 days, you get the other 200. So the two multiplayer achievements, which ain't going to be too bad for you, you should be able to get those pretty fast. You just got to have someone else that's at least downloaded the game and's playing it. And then you just need to have three friends along with you playing the game and that's it that's the full thousand this is super easy it's gonna take you a couple hours of jumping into games and jumping out um, but really uh, I put the difficulty at a one so hey enjoy it get your achievements thanks for watching